Hi, it's vegan personal trainer and nutritionist Paul from Hench Herbivore with what I eat in a day, how I train and how I'm just how I'm doing in general. Oh, hello, you've caught me taking my supplement. Excuse me while I just take this one. He's taking a subida. <laughs> <laughs> I've not really talked about my supplements for a while, so I thought I'd mention it today. First thing first, I'll get my CBD in which you just saw, I get my Omega-3, B12 and D3. There's some new news out about D3 and helping you not become so ill with the coronavirus. So um, link down below, 10% off with code HENGE10. I'll get them, them in me uh, just every day because I'm bodybuilding, I'll take a couple of scoops of Viva Life Perform Protein Powder. I find it works really well and they're really great people, great product. So for breakfast today, I fancy something a little bit different. So I'm going to get some lovely fresh fruit. I'm going to top it with a soya yogurt, but I want something crunchy and lovely and sweet and delicious on top. Granola that you buy in the shop, you know, it's got oil adders, it's got sugar. So let me introduce you to a healthy, happy, delicious, full foods, lovely, bloody granola. <laughs> let me introduce you to the fellas. 200 grams of date syrup, 200 grams of oats, 70 grams of raisins, 40 grams of a nut butter. We've got almond, I like that for the vitamin E. We've got a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and 35 grams each of sunflower and pumpkin seeds. Who is it, please? Yes? We're trying to do a recipe. Get your own food. All right then. Preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. Add the date syrup to a bowl and the butt nut. Shh, don't tell the children. <laughs> Cinnamon and salt. Hello, what's around? I call this bulking sauce. <laughs> bulking sauce. Now you put in your oats and your seeds. Mix it up. So we're gonna add half to this tray lined with parchment paper. And you wanna spread it out really thinly, so we're gonna to have to do ours in two batches. I should have had my breakfast before I started shooting my breakfast. Yep. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Don't make recipe videos when you're hungry. Same thing. We cooked out for a total of 15 minutes. You wanna turn every five minutes. Keep a close eye because it soon catches and it will soon be ruined. Okay, so the first act of my breakfast is actually gonna be some vegetables. Won't you show the lovely viewers? Got some cauliflower, carrots, and red cabbage. Just got a tiny bit of salt, some black pepper on there. Tastes delicious to me. Now, if I was to eat this masterpiece first, I would not be enjoying this. Because I'm cutting, I'm very hungry. You know, vegetables taste amazing to me. So I'm going to get these down me first. I'll see you in a few seconds. Pardon me, a burp cummed. Right, let's try this bad boy out. I'm excited for this one. Hmm. We had a, a few raisins into the granola as well. Wow, that's delicious. Oh yeah, don't add the raisins till the end because if you put them in the oven, they'll burn. You don't want to cook the raisins. You can hear how crunchy it is. I mean, have them. Nice. This is so, so good. Let's have another look. Because I'm cutting, like these like berries and pineapple and grapes, they're so sweet. They look impossibly sweet. And I've got the lovely creamy yogurt. And then I've got the sweet, crunchy, lovely granola on top. Mmm. On a bulk, you could put date syrup on top as well. Maybe some more nut butter. Oh, God damn. I can't imagine this being any sweeter though. Do you know what I mean? Like it yeah. just, it's so good. Guys, if you're not eating whole foods plant-based yet, get on with it. Three weeks, just eat that way. You won't look back. You'll enjoy real food for how it's meant to taste. And you'll be big and ripped and healthy and long-lived. Win, 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 win. Across the board. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna get online, write my nutrition and workout plans for my online clients. Get at me there if uh, you wanna get involved in that. See you guys in the garden for a workout. Workout time, we're doing whole body push on alternating, whole body push, whole body pull. Every other day, I have one day off after like a six day stint. 
press ups first with a band. Chest, shoulders, triceps. Now sissy squats for the quadriceps. This one's a bit naughty on the old knee joints. I wouldn't recommend these unless you've got some heavy duty knee wraps such as what it is I have got from strengthshop.com. Very good quality, all vegan by default. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. You come up on your tippy toes and you lean back. <laughs> Your favourites. <laughs> Kim is working on her wrist strength. This little cat's hiding up from the camera. <laughs> you come back here. Cowboy, you, you've got in the doghouse. He's in the doghouse. Cowboy, you know you're a cat, right? Getting stronger, mate? Good. Up and down, up and down, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like being a PT all over again. <laughs> now pike push up so your bum is up in the air. So this is for the shoulders. <laughs> Quite hard. Yeah, look, impressed, really. It looks hard. Never done a lot of these bodyweight things before, we never had to, and uh, pleasantly surprised with the actual uh, feel of them. Feels like I'm, you know, working those specific muscles. Good. Now I'm doing some calves. So we've done chest, quads, Shoulders, calves, finish up with a bit of tricepius. Oops. Thank God for parallax. Good shout, uh, Derek Simnet, good shout. <laughs> Workout complete. It's all going pretty well, really. I mean, I'm cutting anyway, so I'm just trying to shed the old fat. It's steadily coming off as it was when I was at the gym. Quite enjoying this new exercise routine. Getting slightly stronger in it. I mean, I'm not really gonna grow any muscle because I'm in a deficit anyway. I feel like I've got good pump, good all round workout. Let's see what the difference is. Training at home, mostly body weight with bands versus training at the gym. I'm interested to see how we end up at the, at the finish line and see kind of how different perhaps I look. I'm wondering whether it won't be all that different to be honest. Pleasantly surprised. A few moments later. It's lunchtime being on a cut, I want to fill myself up, so I'm going to go with a nice voluminous, our word of the day, <laughs> it's going to be a bean, potato and veggie curry stew. Let me introduce you to odds and ends we found uh, that we need using up, mostly, <laughs> and other stuff. By the way, this is going to do me for two meals. I've got 80 grams of lentils there, dried lentils. That makes like a can's worth, which is 240 grams, which is how much beans we've got there that Jem cooked up from dried. They've all gone brown for some reason. Yeah. But I'm sure they'll do the job. How much spuds is this? A kilo. A kilo of spuds. <laughs> We've got a leek, a carrot, a red onion, plenty of garlic, some mushies, a little bit of broccoli that was left over, some bits of um, peppers there. Got a bag of spinach, chopped the greens content. I love this stock as a base for soups and stews and things. Uh, nine meals from Anarchy, real good quality. It's mostly just vegetables, really. Uh, we've got salt and pepper there, and of course, the curry powder. I love curry spices so much. They're so rich and warming and aromatic and they do you so much good, especially the turmeric stuff in there, black pepper. What am I putting black pepper in twice? Who knows? Let's get on with the recipe. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got all the veggies in the pan, save for the leaves, because they'll go in last. If not, they'll just disintegrate into nothing. Is that how you do it, Tim? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put some curry powder. I'm going to guess, let's go with three teaspoons. Even for the up of water. So we want to just be covering everything. What do you reckon, mate, about there? Yeah. Four little more. No, that looks good. Right there. So I've got two litres in there, so I want four teaspoons of this good old stuff. This mixes really well, so you don't have to pre-make the stock. Give that a little mix in. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes, just so the potato starts to soften before we add anything else. Okay, so the 10 minutes has passed. You'll see it's a lovely uh, orange color now, thanks to the turmeric. I'm gonna put in the lentils and the beans. Just put in some aqua. And we're gonna cook for a further 10 minutes. Okay, now we'll check the potatoes, see how they're getting on. Oh, I love a spud, me. And I'll put the spinach in. Put this all down, that'll soon it will. We'll drink a couple of minutes, Gem. Yeah. Last minute uh, addition, I'm gonna put two teaspoons of coriander and one teaspoon of mint. Measuring them out. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most scientific method, you understand. Uh, that was a bigger cup, so I'll put that one in there. <laughs> this looks great to me. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, it smells good as well. <laughs> it looks really amazing. Just when, when you're into the whole food, just all the colours and the smells and the different textures. Gets me excited. Um, maybe I'm getting a bit sad in my old age. Excuse me a second. <coughs> that probably meant something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wee wow. I love this food so much. It's really simple, but it's just so delicious. Looks good. Does you good. It's just good. <laughs> In addition, I need some fats. I'm gonna have some sunflower seeds, lots of lovely vitamin E. Because this is very voluminous, uh, I'm just gonna have some dried fruit alongside it. If it was less, less volume, then I'd have some fresh fruits as well. I'll probably have some fresh fruits later in the day. Anyway, we're gonna get this down as, the sun's still a shining, so we're gonna get over a nearby park. We've not really explored this other park very much. It's uh, quite, um, it's not like a play park type thing, it's more kind of a little woods area, isn't it, Gem? Yeah. So we're gonna have a little look around and see what that's all about. Get some sun on our skin. See you there. I'm hungry. What are you making for me, love? <laughs> I'm making a pizza. A pizza? A healthy pizza. Say what? I found this recipe ages ago from God knows where, and I haven't made it for a long time. It's so good. So okay. good. So the base... Introduce me to the fellas. Oh, yeah. Let me introduce you to the fellas. So we've got potatoes. Potatoes. Cassava flour. Cassava flour. And a little salt. That's what goes in the base. Yep. And then for the toppings, we're going to have passata, obviously. Yeah. Ooh, obviously. Some veggies, some peppers, mushroom, onion. I want more of a mushroom than that. Okay. Why are you a one mushroom gal? <laughs> you often have one solitary mushroom on things and people take the pee on Instagram. Well. I don't mean to shame you. You carry on. I'm not a huge mushroom fan. <laughs> <laughs> 
if I'm honest. I've got this pizza seasoning. Pizza seasoning. If you haven't got it, it's got oregano, margarine, basil, ground black pepper, garlic, onion powder. Ooh. So just don't. Fantastic. And a bit controversial. Oh, I think we're going to put da, some da, pineapple. Da. Comment below. Does pineapple go on pizza? Why? Yes, it does. <laughs> So we're going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, step one, we're going to peel and steam the potatoes. Okay. Okay. I don't normally peel potatoes, I don't really like to, but it is essential for this one recipe. Okay then. Drop in the spuds. Just in case anyone's not really very clever, he's watching. The next step is to chop the spuds. Yeah, you put a tea, tea cloth under that, chop and put that one slide around. <laughs> That's what someone will say in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you were about to write that. <laughs> oh, don't criticize me. We need them. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to criticize the, the subscribers. We need, we actually need more subscribers, if anything. Now I understand why the channel's not growing. <laughs> <laughs> Something hilarious happened. It's not that funny, is it? What did we forget to tell everyone? Tempeh. We're doing tempeh bacon. <gasps> Part. Yeah, tempeh bacon. To yeah. Introduce me to those fellas. Okay, so a block of tempeh, obviously. We're gonna have a little date syrup, some tamari, and some smoked paprika. Okay. Not really made this before, have we? So, no. gonna see what happens. Now you need to leave the potatoes to cool long enough. I had one set. Now you need to let the potatoes cool down until it's cool enough to. Now leave the potatoes to cool for a while until you. So you can handle them. Ah! Now you want to set the potatoes aside to cool. <laughs> God. Now I'm going to slice up the tempeh. Oh yeah. <laughs> slice that shit <laughs> up, homie. <laughs> Not very even, but don't worry about it. Whoa. Skinny. Skinny. Let's try it. Skinny bacon. Like this, maybe? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why has this got a black bit on the end? It's just a Raymond. Now I'll make the marinade, which I've never made before, so I'm just winging it. Good luck, guys. I don't know why anyone watches these videos. <laughs> if we posted this, you'll know it turned out good, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, That's two. One or two, do you reckon? Two. 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 Two, two, two tablespoons of that. Two of those. Date syrup. Just date some water with stuff. Yeah. Two of these. Two of these. This is tamari. What else are you putting in? Smoked paprika for sure. Teaspoon. Oh, I can smell that smoky. Mm. What yeah. else? Garlic? Let's well, make up as you go along. Well, yeah, no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a sniff. It smells nice. Yeah, it smells mm. sort of bacony, but without all the murder victims. Yeah. Now I guess we just uh, put some are fatter than others. Oh god. She's done it crap. <laughs> I'm gonna put these to one side for a minute so they can marinate and then we'll get on with the pizza. So this is cooled down enough to handle. So we'll mix in the flour. And we need to put a little bit of salt in there as well. You can see it's starting to get a little bit doughy. Yeah, it's still quite sticky, you know. It's not how you'd imagine a dough to sort of be. But it's still gonna make a nice base. So we've got two here, so I need to write it up. And two. I'll have the biggest one. These are both yours. I'll have both of the ones. <laughs> they look about the same size. Oh, this one's a bit bigger. Okay. <laughs> I like them both the same size, please. <laughs> <laughs> like your ones. Oh Don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> I can put it in though. I know you can, but I'd rather, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Comment down it. below, should I have left that bit in? <laughs> <laughs> now it'd be helpful if we had a rolling pin, which we don't, but you can't worry about such things. <laughs> the last time I made it, I didn't use a rolling pin, I just used my hands. So we'll do that again this time. Now I've just got to flatten these out into a kind of a round pizza-based shape. Kind of a round pizza-based shape. 
So you want it to be on some parchment paper on a baking tray. Or if you've got like a pizza tray, that would be even better. Do your best Luigi or Mario impression. I don't know. Pretend I did something really cool. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> only joking. Him. <laughs> Have you done it or what? I don't know. How's it looking? Good. Yeah, it's looking good. That'll, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's time to flip them. So I took these out five minutes ago. I tried to get a spatula underneath and it was a little bit stuck still. So if that happens to you, it's not ready yet. Put it back in and you'll notice that when it's ready to flip, you can get the spatula all the way under oh, really yeah, easily. Oh yeah, Yeah. I think our oven is a little bit cool, you know. Yeah, I think it might be as right. hot as it should be. Yeah, so here we go, coming along nicely. So I'll put them back in for about another 10 minutes. Wow, we are. Now what's happening? Back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Back uh, back upstairs. <laughs> name that show. Yeah, name that show. Okay, now the main uh, part of any food style video is the taste test. So my mouth's watering. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Yeah. How's the base? Great. It's delicious. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna to have to have some more bites. <laughs> really find out about it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh god damn. Oh god damn. A healthy whole foods plant-based pizza. No oil, no junk. That's amazing. Give that a try, guys. That is a real winner. I love it. I don't know that I've had that before, have I? Have you made that for me? I haven't. You were away at a veg fest ah. or something and I made it once and I kept saying I'll make it for you when you come back, but I never did. I'm sold. That's delicious. The, you know, the herbs and the passata is lovely. This bacon is delicious. Bacon. Love a bit of pineapple and some red onion on there. And a nice crisp salad to go with it. I'm in heaven. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down my neck. We're gonna chill out after that, probably watch uh, Game of Thrones for the fourth time round, are we on now? Yeah, I think we so. We live that show so much. Did you know that seven of the cast are vegan? Seven, comment below if you can uh, name all seven. Uh, I will eat once more before bed. It will just be either like a large salad or a load of cooked vegetables, very low cal. And Jen makes a nice sauce for me with tahini like a tablespoon of tahini, a couple of tablespoons of nooch and like water to thin it out. Yeah, and then like onion, garlic powder, okay. maybe some mustard and some apple cider vinegar. Yeah, so nice and simple. I'll have that most evenings. So as I'm getting towards the end of my cut, I'm on lower calories. So just a last meal with loads of vegetables and just like that fatty element from the sauce will help you absorb like the vitamin K, the carotenoids, um, vitamin E's. And, and all that good stuff. But um, it's a bit boring just to show you a load of vegetables, so we'll uh, sign off now. Uh, now click this.